anecdotes from the world of opera. Enjoy funny stories that happened to famous people. Anecdote number 18. The Strange Fritz Reiner Part 2. Mail for the Dog. Fritz Reiner was a great conductor. He's a workaholic and a perfectionist. He lays the foundation for his career in Resden, where he conducts hundreds of operas and gives dozens of symphony concerts in a few years as royal court Kapellmeister. There, his two daughters from his marriage with Elke are born. His wife has little to do with Reiner's artistic life and waits by the stove until Fritz comes home. Fritz is not only busy with music, but also with extramarital affairs. Elke finally bursts with anger when Fritz Reiner starts a relationship with her sister. Elke requests a divorce and a war of roses stretches over several years. Even Kaiser Wilhelm hears about it and expresses his disapproval to the royal Kapellmeister Reiner. Shortly before Reiner emigrates to the US, the marriage is divorced. Soon after, Fritz Reiner marries Elke's sister Berta in 1921. The two then travel to Cincinnati, where Reiner has secured a prestigious position as chief conductor. History repeats itself. This marriage is also divorced nine years later, as Fritz Reiner begins a relationship with Karl Orter, Erwin. And, you guess it. The subsequent divorce is accompanied by a long-lasting Rose War. This social scandal leads to Reiner's dismissal as orchestra leader in Cincinnati. His third wife Carl Orta has a strange quirk. She has a dog with which she is very attached. Whenever she is on tour with her husband and the orchestra, she writes a letter to the dog. The housekeeper has to read the letters to the dog every day. After his engagement in Cincinnati, Reiner goes to the Curtis Institute as a professor. There he is the professor of a conducting class. He teaches among others Leonard Bernstein, who always respectfully remembered his strict teacher. When Bernstein addressed his professor one day with an informal, Fritz, the maestro icily responded. Doctor, Reiner please. The later years brought him to the Metropolitan Opera and then to the place of his greatest triumph the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. There, too, he reigned in terror, developing this orchestra with his perfection obsession to perhaps the best in the world. The first hornist reports from a particularly brilliant concert. The concert started well. The second piece was flawless and we all began to realize that we are giving the perfect performance. And that is when the tension began mounting. At any rate, we finished the concert. The audience was amazed and we were awed in our own ability. And as we came off stage, I saw Reiner standing in the wings at Symphony Hall in Boston and he was shaking hands with each and every musician as they came out. It finally came to my turn to shake hands and I noticed that Dr. Reiner was crying, with tears running down his face, so I took the liberty to ask him why. He answered. Well, we just had a perfect concert. All my life I have waited for a perfect concert and tonight, we had one. Listen to more about Fritz Reiner, Leonard Bernstein and much more in WWW Opera Inside, the online opera guide. Everything about opera.